Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about all time frames for crypto world. We will talk about 1 hour, 4 hours daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We will do full review of crypto market trend. As usually, let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. Let's start from crypto heat map. Based on the daily performance, looks like it's a green and gray. Generally, it's a green, right? Now let's move to weekly. Weekly, everything green. It is bullish, right? Monthly, everything green, also bullish. Looks like crypto bullish from daily time, time frame. Let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the to the description. There is the link about trading view setup, and and also there is there are many links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages: white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Buy and sell script indicator, volume and below a yellow line RSI line, and Heikonachi bars. That's all. Very simple, it's not easy because emotions involve. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my, on my chart, look at it, how it works. Sell signal, MA5 did bearish crossover, SMA5 did bearish crossover, it was bearish reversal trend. When MA5 green line did bullish crossover of a red line, it's a green circle, it was bullish trend. So far, last bar just still at SMA5 level, still bullish trend. On daily time frame, Bitcoin still bullish for last four days, it's a sideways trend. You see sideways trend, price action still the same. Let's move to four hours time frame, you see straight sideways sideways even a semi 5 10 and bars below 20 it is bearish territory one hour time frame it's about 20 bullish territory but it's also sideways price action and daily bitcoin you see bitcoin still bullish daily sideways rsi was in the overbought territory now it's ready for reversal Weekly time frame. Let's see weekly, right? Weekly time frame. And bearish divergence on weekly time frame. Okay. Bullish trend and bearish divergence on weekly. And let's see monthly. Monthly also bullish trend, last bar disconnected from SMA 10, 20 bullish trend for Bitcoin. Today is February 18, right? 18, Sunday 2024. Now let's move to Bitcoin Cash. Price action is flat, plus half percent. Let's start monthly, last bar above SMA 5, 10 and 20 bullish trend on the monthly time frame for bitcoin cash let's see weekly weekly also it is in a bearish territory below 200 but trend is bullish because last bar about all moving averages bullish trend daily time frame daily time frame is building bearish reversal look at it for last uh seven eight days it just building bearish reversal. Four hours time frame sideways and it even bearish reversal. For a one hour time frame, it did bearish crossover SMA 5, 10, and 20, and 50, even 100. Now all moving averages and bars below 200. It is bearish territory. On short time frame, it's, it's weak and bearish. On large time frames, it is still bullish. Ethereum plus 1% on 
on 1%, it is bullish last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. For our time frame, it's a sideways, it's dancing around SMA 20 yellow line, just sideways, but last bar above all moving averages, bullish territory. Daily price action bullish, bullish trend. For last four days, it's just sideways also. Weekly, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend on weekly time frame. The price action is bullish and it has bearish divergence on RSI. That's how it works. Price action bullish, bearish divergence on RSI. Monthly, also bullish trend, no changes. Ethereum Classic, plus three quarter percent on monthly time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Weekly time frame, last bar above all moving averages, also bullish bullish trend even sma5 green line did bullish crossover bullish trend daily time frame last bar just moved below sma5 and 10 but still about 20 still in the bullish territory four hours time frame after the sell-off it did move below sma50 blue line and now it's trying to bounce for our time frame it is bearish on one hour time frame last bar it was very oversold so far all moving averages except 100 below 200 it is bearish territory sma 20 now it's flat it was bearish they all below 200 it is bearish territory but last bar just trying to do bullish crossover over sma 50 and SMA 200, it's trying to get out to positive line. So far, it's still in the bearish territory on one hour time frame. Other Cardano plus one and a half. Ah, actually, yeah, let's see. Bearish territory. And yeah. Okay, Ada Cardano, let's start one hour time frame. Ada Cardano, after the nice bull run, it did sell, sell signal, sell signal, and SMA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20, last bar below 20, bearish trend. For hours time frame, last bar just moved below SMA5, still bullish territory, bullish trend with bearish divergence, right? Price action bullish and RSI has bearish divergence. It wants to have correction, even like and volume also. Look at it here. Volume has bearish divergence also. Price action bullish. Daily time frame bullish trend. Still bullish trend, no changes. Weekly time frame for Ada Cardano. Buy signal. Bullish trend. Last bar above all moving averages. Monthly also SMA5. And bars did bullish crossover over 20. Bullish trend. XRP plus one and, a, one and a three quarter percent monthly. Last bar monthly. It's just February. Still below SMA 5 and 10, but it's above SMA 20. It's kind of bullish territory. Weekly time frame also SMA 5 and 10 and bars did bearish crossover over 20 and 200. Bearish reversal signal. Bearish. And it did bounce from 100. It did touch 100 and bounce. Uh, daily. SMA5 yet bullish crossover over 10 and 20 and 50 bullish crossover bullish trend on daily time frame. 
now four hours time frame after the bellish reversal it did bounce right last bar above all moving averages bullish crossover and one hour time frame last bar and sma5 and 10 above above all moving averages bullish trend ton coin plus one and a quarter percent on daily on one hour time frame still bullish but last hour it did sell signal looks like it wants to build bearish reversal so far no confirmation four hours time frame four hours time frame bullish trend and yeah bearish divergence on rsi trend is still bullish this bearish divergence daily time frame bullish trend with bearish divergence on rsi and weekly weekly buy signal sma 5 10 and below 20 it is bearish territory but last bar moved above all moving averages it's trying to recover but so far setup is bearish monthly sma 5 did bullish crossover over red line bullish trend bullish trend on monthly bullish trend on monthly that's all that's all from my side we just did review of the all time frames and generally on the large time frames all crypto is still bullish right like on bitcoin monthly is still bullish month is not over but we are in the middle of the month weekly week is over bullish trend and remember bearish divergence it means it wants to have correction on daily no divergence on weekly it has bullish trend with bearish divergence last bar disconnected from all moving averages on daily on weekly and daily it's a sideways market from the overbought territory trend is also bullish also bullish on four hours time frame it's a sideways just below sma 20 and one hour time frame they all kind of flat some of them bearish sound some of them bullish that's all for today for crypto thank you so much let's move to this disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purposes we are using paper trading simulator thank you for watching simple trading style videos i do publish daily weekly monthly updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.